Okay, guys, welcome back to the science lab or science segment, I guess. We don't really have a lab anymore. Yeah. We used to. We used to go all the way to this lab. We used to have a farmhouse, too, right? We had a farmhouse, too. Yeah, <laughs> we nice. had a, a virtual farmhouse. All kinds of different virtual things. Uh, so, guys, I just wanted to talk with you today a little bit about a project I'm doing with my students and then how that connects to the concept of circuits. Cool. Um, so, my students are building, we did physics this trimester and we looked at building. Uh, what are called cigar box guitars. So ours are not quite finished yet, um, and I've been building them with my students, but um, they're, I have not had as much time to work on mine as they have had to work on theirs. Uh, so I should have brought one of theirs down, honestly. But um, it's a really simple uh, concept. These are just cigar boxes, and just in case anybody needs a reminder, uh, you shouldn't smoke cigars. They're bad. There's a warning uh, on it. And there's a warning, even all yeah. my students' boxes have a nice little... A reminder little to surgeon everyone. General surgeon warning. General. We had to do a day on why you shouldn't smoke. And then, <laughs> here's, but the, the people at the cigar store were very nice and gave me lots of these boxes uh, for very cheap. Um, and you can see kind of the circuitry that we've got going inside there. So what I recently did with my students was I came into them and I said, we've got to connect these three items together. And they're kind of small. I'll see if I can get them at the, uh, in the close-up shot here. Um, but these three items are this guy, which is the quarter-inch jack that a typical guitar cable oh. uh, would use to plug in, like mm -hmm. this. So there's a quarter-inch jack. Uh, we needed to connect a volume knob so that they could adjust their volume. And that's called a potentiometer, technically. And then this is a very simple, what's called a piezo pickup. And so I showed these to my students, and, and we talked through what the idea of a circuit was. And my students uh, have done some work around, really, how does a circuit work, and, and what is it? And one of the big things that we learned about circuits is that uh, whatever you, wherever the power source is for a circuit, the circuit must return to that power source. There must be a loop mm -hmm. or you won't get any kind of power mm -hmm. uh, going. We'll talk just a little bit about why that is. Um, briefly, though, this has just been an awesome project. Um, my students mainly have focused on wave motion. They studied light waves and sound waves, and they focused on sound waves. And then we've had about two weeks to work on circuits, and we'll have two weeks more. So it's been really great. Um, but let's just look at a circuit and kind of look at how it works in the most basic way. And I'm just going to tangle the wires here. I'm going <laughs> to, let's see. Well, here, let me take this guy. He can be our power generator. All right. And guy handling everything. Do I need this? Uh, well, yeah, we're going to need that in a minute. Becky, you okay. can be our switch operator. Cool. Boom. And Nate, you can be our light at the end of the tunnel. Of course. Um, okay, so um, in a similar sense, now what we have here is sort of a, the same setup. We have like three things. We can think of this as being a resistance piece. This is also a resistance piece, sort of like the amplifier. But I have my students look at this as a way to think about how are we connecting things together, right? So uh, the first step was to hook up the switch. Um, yep, and, and so, I mean, what do you guys think? What needs to be hooked up here? You're going to need two more wires, and you guys are... Yeah. Fully functional adults, so I'm yeah. just going to let you do this, and then you'll talk me through it. Um, okay, right. I would guess. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one is broken. Oh, sorry. Here's a oh, non-broken yeah. one. I need a real one. All right. These little alligator okay. clips are so great, but uh, they're so, not super du durable. I'm assuming we want to attach the red to black, and then this is going to open and close the circuit. Is correct? So yeah. So we're actually going to want to attach red to red. It doesn't matter red a huge red. amount, but let's attach red to red. And then we want to complete it through there. So we want to we take. We probably want to hook to these little knobs. Take something that hooks here. Yep. Very good. And then, whoops, Should there we go. Should I put this one on with that one Not too? yet. That'll right. be, I think, the end of the loop. Okay. So and let's, and let's actually, let's just sort of look at what Becca's doing. So, so, um, what Becca so should we turn the loop off for a second by flipping that switch up? Okay. We, could, we, definitely, we up? could definitely do that. So, so what Becca's thinking about is that she needs to create this loop that gets back to the original mm -hmm. source. So it's got to right? go right. So, all the way through there and through the light and then back to you. And so. Brie, let's just say, like, let's say Will had done what he wanted to do. Well, just for a second, just for the sake of argument, go ahead and hook that black up to the black. Okay? If we want mm. then to, you know, get power continuing to our light bulb, if Will starts, go ahead and start cranking that thing. I don't know if we can see anything. But electricity is flowing to the circuit. The problem is that electricity already has an escape path back uh, uh, to the generator, okay. so it doesn't have any incentive to move forward. So let's continue to make that loop that we were talking about. So Becca's wire would connect to one of these mm -hmm. connections, mm -hmm. and then we need to connect it back to close the loop. Mm -hmm. All right. Is the loop closed? We can follow it. Yeah, and so let's Red, go ahead. Boom, close that switch. Back there. Turn the switch on. Ready to go? Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Very yeah. simple. Yeah. That is kind of fun. 
Go ahead and turn off the switch, Becca, and let's just see. Okay, so no it doesn't work. And, this and it disconnects it? Yeah, and, and, and so it's got to be connected back down here somewhere. Right. Right, it's connecting the... Mm. Yeah, so th th that, ex that, act that literally, that thing connects it. The, the electricity yeah, travels the metal through the goes. arm of the switch the into the next goes. contact into the point. Next like down contact. there, up there, and then into there, through there, down there, and then up to there. But if mm. we take it off, it just kind of goes up and then just... It's gone. And, and you know what's actually interesting is uh, one of the things that we know is that electricity actually won't flow through a circuit at all if it doesn't have a path to continue. And, and what's sort of amazing about electricity is electricity is really closely related to magnetism. Electricity and magnetism are almost two sides of the same coin. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and as we know, basic ideas in magnetism is that, that a positive charge should attract a negative charge. And, Vice versa. So what you have here is the, the red cable coming out of Will's charger there is our uh, positive uh, charge, and uh, the, the black cable is the negative charge. Along the black cable, we get electrons flowing if and only if there's a positive charge pulling on the other end. So when we, when we flip up this switch, there's no positive charge pulling. And so, well, if you, if you crank that thing, you'll generate you know, a, a, a flow of electrons through the copper in there, but it won't, it won't be encouraged to go through the circuit because there won't be a positive charge pulling it through and essentially providing a space for the electrons to flow. So that's exactly what I did with my students. That was just a one-day activity where they did just what you guys did, and a number of people do exactly what Will did, and then just sort of work through it. Mm. And one of the things that I love most about this style of teaching is that, you know, largely, in some ways it's very simple stuff, but it's also stuff that makes a lot of sense when you put your hands on it and do it yourself. Mm -hmm. So this is the same idea, like if I, my battery dies in my car, mm -hmm. why we have to use two ends of jumper cable yeah, that's exactly we need right. The electricity to flow through to my battery. Right. And kind mm. of it needs to flow in a circuit again. You won't you won't get mm. that flow unless you have the positive and negative terminals both connected. Okay. So I thought we'd do just a little messing around with the makey makey. So, well, why don't you throw that circuit, this whole thing? You throw it behind my computer and scoot my computer oh, up. The whole thing. Cool. Yeah, just get it out of here. We don't need it. Hi. Then you said you need the computer. And we do scoot to scoot the computer forward to that edge right there. Okay, great. And then, uh, Becca, you want to plug it in, or well, whichever one of you guys. Um, so we have this makey makey. I have. Uh, Busted out the Mickey Mickey on several other occasions here. It's <laughs> one of my favorite little toys. Uh, it's worth kind of playing with. Um, I, they actually came out with a new tool called the Mickey Mickey Go, which is an even smaller version of this same thing. But what the Mickey Mickey does is it allows us to create simple circuits and use those circuits to power uh, buttons on the computer. Can we um, see it on here so everybody? Yeah, let's let's take a, let's take a close up look so you can see like that the way. really. The basic look there is you've got the the D pad, the up down left right, mm -hmm. and then you've got a, a right click here, and you've got your space bar here. Looks hmm. like a Nintendo. That's what I was thinking. Like, like an old, yeah. Nintendo, Nintendo control. Yeah. So um, a lot of times when I bust this out, we talk about uh, conduction and what things conduct, and so I'll maybe mention that stuff. But here we're just going to be trying to make some circuits that connect. Okay. So what we'll do is I'll, I'll be one end of the circuit. In fact, I'll just consider myself sort of the negative terminal of the circuit. Um, to get back to the computer, you guys are going to all have to go through me. Okay. Um, but we'll make hmm. each of you guys a different button, and we'll play a lot around with that a little bit. And let me just open up. All right. Oh, and you know what, Becca, can you maybe turn on my volume there? There's a volume off, but I think uh, we're going to need it right here. Okay, so I'm going to make, uh, let's see. Interesting. Nate can be the left. Becca, you can be up. And Will, you can be right. All right. See okay. you, Becca. Oh, yay. And we can kind of, we, yeah, we kind of have to get a little bit crowded here <laughs> to make this happen. But um, what's, what's really cool about circuits also is that circuits will flow through any, or electricity will flow through any kind of a circuit that's created. We think of circuits as being wires, but you can make a circuit out of almost anything. Um, so one thing that's uh, kind of fun to make a circuit out of, well, you could definitely use metal. Metal is, I think, something that's pretty obvious to us. But this right here, this fancy drawing that I've done right here, maybe we can go a little close up here. Oh, oh, oh. This fancy drawing that I made <laughs> looks sort of like a balloon. This was drawn with a pencil. And by drawing with a pencil, I made uh, essentially layers of what's called graphene. Uh, pencil lead, we call it lead, but it, it's actually graphite, which is a pure carbon substance. Uh, when you put lines of it, you create these streaks of something called graphene. Graphene is a one molecule thick layer of carbon atoms. And these layers of graphene are great at conducting electricity. So you can actually turn things like this into buttons. So for the starters, I'll have Nate kind of demo this. OK. So Nate, you should be able to, if you connect this to yourself, so Nate's, okay. uh, you can just hold the metal right there. Now I don't have to clip it to my 
You, you, you could clip it yourself if you want to. So um, what Nate, what the situation is here is that Nate is sort of the, the one that's keyed up to be the circuit, but the way he's going to connect it is he's going to have to actually have to touch the graphene on here. So Nate, let's see, okay. if, let's see if we get a response. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. and I think, we, it's not quite I think loud we're getting enough, sound in the back, but not up front here. Likely, but at least if we could TV. maybe just jump to my computer screen, uh, just so we could get a, a visual on the screen. That is cool. We can at least see the response happening. Okay. Yeah. So Nate, go ahead and hit that again, and we can see that uh, yes, lighting up. And again, I, I should have brought my personal computer to get the sound going. It <laughs> might be. They might be hearing it back there. On the oh, TV. okay, good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so they can't hear it. Certainly, our folks. Certainly, our folks in the back are. are uh, able to do that. So cool. So Nate's, Nate's playing a little jam for you. I can sort of yeah. hear it through the walls. Um, so <laughs> song I wrote. <laughs> very Aww. nice. Class science. Really, really what a beautiful a one. Um, so, you know, another thing obviously is metal, but I think we'll just go for uh, human beings at this point. So the, the uh, other cool thing about this is that, you know, we flow, electricity flows through us. So Nate's pushing this, but he's able to push it because, uh, you know, the electricity is flowing through him in, in addition to the graphene, right? Uh, so Becca, you could actually make a different note play if you hit this button. Oh, because she's connected to a different right. control. Right, because this button, the is, this button is sort of our connection back, right? So that's, that's completing the circuit back. Mm -hmm. um, and Will, you'll make an even different one if you hit that button. Go ahead. And like, if you guys were to hit it in order, you should make a little, go ahead, Nate. Yeah, it should That's be kind of nice. Music. It, it was supposed to make a nice little sound. I can't hear it, but hopefully the people uh, back home can hear it. Um, but you know, we can actually make a circuit that goes through all of us too. Um, so here, I'll just go like this, and then Nate, why don't you drop yours? Becca, why don't you drop yours? Nate, grab my hand. Becca, grab Nate's hand, and then we'll keep, we hold, this? keep holding right. yours, and then <laughs> and, and actually, Becca and Nate, let go and retouch. And like every time right. they make the connection, they are. Oh yeah, creating that, and you could you could oh, so we could have a bunch of people. <laughs> I, I had oh, it's all going through Will. I had fifteen of my kids all in a line uh, making music wow. that way, which is kind of cool. That's really cool. And the last one I wanted to show that my kids also just totally loved, just for the heck of it, was we played a little bit of that good old classic, Flappy Bird. Uh, Flappy oh. Bird. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Flappy Bird is a game that takes only one button. Tapping. Yeah. yeah. So Nate, you're gonna actually be my button. Uh, so Nate, grab. I'm gonna have Nate grab the. Yeah, let's have Nate grab yellow. Go ahead and give that to to Nate. Right. So Nate is now hooked up as the space bar, and I am hooked up as the connection back. Will, can you hit OK on on the game for us? And hopefully, could we jump back to my screen, please? All right, go ahead. Ready when you are. All is right, am I so, playing now? Yeah. Because no, this isn't connected. All right, so, oh. No, I'm please connected to you. Look at. Oh, 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 I shouldn't have moved my arm. <laughs> well, the, one more time. All right. One more time. We had a bunch of fun with this. All right. So um, let me keep my arm in the same two. spot. All right. Oh. Whoops. Oh, click. Uh, oh, hold on. I got it. There we go. <laughs> so I'm just tapping Nate's hand, and as I do, my Flappy Bird rises. I'm so good at Flappy. Oh, it Slashed. lagged. <laughs> Not at all. Yeah. Um, but, but again, I think that what we really tried to do with this, we played a bunch of games, we tried to just have a bunch of fun with it when we did it, but just tried to really hammer that idea that you've got to have circuits, right? Mm -hmm. That electricity isn't this sort of one way. And we all the time we make the connection to water. You know, electricity flows, we say, and water flows. But water, you can just turn on a tap mm -hmm. and it'll flow out. If you turn on a tap, like an outlet is a tap of electricity. But electricity isn't just pouring out of that thing, and it won't until you create a connection back. Mm -hmm. So that was really the big idea that I wanted my students to understand in circuits and that we played with a lot. Um, so the cigar box guitar thing has been so much fun. Uh, so thank you guys for letting me show you that. Yeah, that's um, really cool. Definitely. Thank you for showing us. And I yeah. always make the plug, but Makey Makeys are so cool. They're just like this simple tool that you can use to explore all kinds of different ideas and really just have fun with. You can play any of your favorite you know, games. I've set up uh, Mario mm -hmm. uh, to be able to play on a drawn, I drew a controller and played Mario on a piece of paper. <laughs> on a paper. You know, which is really fun. You can, get, uh, you can hook up your, if you have a dog, a couple dogs, you could hook up a couple dogs and pat them on the head to play. They'll probably <laughs> hang around because they're getting all kinds of attention. Oh, that's so funny. So, anyways, uh, just a, a sort of shameless plug for this thing that I think is really cool. Uh, but uh, thank you so much for joining us. We're going to be back in the Homer Hotline studio in just a minute here.